Now, I'm asking everybody this year that, because I watched and uh, read an article about cities needing to remain competitive in the future, because sure. you want people to come and live in your city and keep it vital and alive. Yep. And I, the article I read had Coon Rapids setting some goals mm -hmm. that I shared with you. But I thought I'll ask all of our the people coming on our right. program, what has Rothsdale City Council and staff been discussing in relation to kind of not the immediate future but a little farther down the sure. line what do you have to do to be aiming there so that you're still vibrant and well i think the you know the key for us is establishing um you know where we're at now what do we have what do we have that that residents like what do we have that uh -huh. businesses like and and building upon it uh, you know we don't have a lot of large corporations uh, right big right. industrial complexes so we have a unique situation in that regard. But we're also next to the largest city and that bodes well for us. Oh, right, um, right. Know, access to uh, jobs mm -hmm. and then also to people that can you know, come into Robbinsdale and, oh, and yeah. support our, our local businesses. So um, we, we do have goal planning. We, we do that every year. Okay. And then we uh, constantly get updated, those, updated on those in various work sessions. So I think one of the things that we've been looking at is, uh, again, our asset, the downtown area, okay. is maintaining that and, uh, and improving it. Mm -hmm. The second thing is our housing stock. Okay. Is, is maintaining the housing stock and improving on it by, you know, providing homes that, that residents or that, you know, home buyers want. Oh, right, right. It tends to be, you know, sometimes larger homes or um, homes that are easily accessible, say a uh -huh. Rambler. Um, so the, the EDA, which is also the Robinsville City Council, right. um, that's probably one of our biggest priorities right now is, is, is housing ah. and maintaining that stock. And the third thing I would say is, is um, safety, ah. because none of that means anything if you don't have safe neighborhoods. True, true. So uh, we work very hard um, and very closely with our, our police department to, to maintain uh -huh. a, a great place to live. So I, I think we feel that if we can if we can keep those things our downtown area uh, viable right and uh, you know keep it safe and then um, you know also maintaining our house all while staying within our, our budget ah, and keeping taxes right, low right um, and that's the challenge definitely uh, I, I think those are the things you know I think that's similar with a lot of cities but that's really what our focus is but when we get into the future a little bit more right um, there's things like light rail Ah, that, coming, coming up on the horizon. <laughs> yes, and so we've begun to start planning for that. And, um, you know, I can't let out too many of the secrets, but we got some <laughs> things that we're working on to, okay. um, to take advantage of that if it does happen. Right. And, um, but we, we're very much, the city council is, you know, what's great is that, you know, we're always throwing out different ideas and uh -huh. try to kind of encourage uh, um people to do that so you know we're never we don't try to you know get everything out on the table right you know, yeah, idea is not a bad idea and, and we try to build off that and um, I, I think that's healthy for our community oh I would think so yeah um, even though we're, we're smaller and we're fully developed there's uh, I think a lot of changes that are gonna happen mm -hmm. yeah, especially with our proximity to Minneapolis and we got we got some very unique things we have to mm -hmm. offer businesses and the residents and we're gonna continue to promote those 